Well, we're down at Art Putney Academy today with the foundation celebrating their grand opening. We've got with us central defenders Will Nightingale and Darius Charles. Will, you always get involved in these things. Uh, tell us what we've been up to today. Yeah, well, um, obviously I'm a local boy, so it comes in handy for me to just come down to these things and just speak to some of the younger kids just to try and tell them what it's like to get involved with football and try and inspire them really but um, no we're just down at um, just at a little college here there's a little competition going on I think an open day and we've just got a yeah we've had questions answered for them and just talking to them really letting them know what it's like. Excellent Darius it's your first time involved with the foundation getting along to one of these events how have you found it? Yeah fantastic it's always good to come down to uh, these type of events and hopefully um, excite and inspire kids into sport, whether it's football or, or, or a different one. But it's always, you know, nice to, to try and um, add some value to to their lives and hopefully inspire them to go on and, and make a career out of football themselves. And you did a little bit of a Q and A session when you first got here. Was some some good questions coming into you? Yeah, yeah, of course. The, the to be fair, we didn't get the normal ones like how much you get paid and, <laughs> and what like that. But no, there was there was a few kids interested in finding out how they how they'd get involved uh, with training and whatnot at AFC Wimbledon which is exactly why we're here. Will have you picked up the fact that some of the kids are interested in an AFC Wimbledon perhaps getting along to a game in future? Um, yeah probably I mean there's I think there's a girl down here that plays for one of the younger age groups for AFC Wimbledon and I've heard she's quite a good player so some of the some of the other kids around here may think oh I want to get involved and try and improve as a player as well so yeah I mean we've told them what it's like and now it's such a fans run club and now it's just got a nice feel to it and we can just wait and see if any of them like the sound of it really. Did you ever have anything like this when you were when you kids at school? Did you sort of uh, get players come along to your, to your um, school? I can't properly remember. To be fair, I think we had like a little link with Chelsea, so we had a few Chelsea boys that joined our school, so it was hard to get into the team sometimes, but, <laughs> but yeah. Darius, it's changed a lot, isn't it, over the years? It's, it's, it's an essential part of a football club these days, getting out into the community, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, if you can't can't get kids from from your own local community involved in football, then then who who, who can you? You know, I think it's, it's important for, for these kids to, to obviously stay fit um, and hopefully, you know, see that being a professional footballer isn't as far away a possibility as maybe they first thought. How's pre-season training been going for the pair of you? Yeah, it's been going well, you know, it's just pre-season, so it's yeah. tough, not only because, you know, it's tough in general, but, you know, you're back from your holidays and whatnot, and you have to make sure you obviously keep yourself injury-free and fit and, and get yourself in the best possible shape before the season begins. Yeah. Will, will you still enjoy getting out, going down to these sort of things, even though we've got, got you back in pre-season training now? Yeah, of course. I mean, like... All the boys are just like easing themselves into pre-season, not being too silly. Obviously, it's always going to be hard anyway, but no one's going like ridiculously silly with anything. So, just easing our way in. We've got um, our first game on Tuesday, which all the boys are looking forward to. See what it's going to be about. But yeah, I'm happy to always help out with little things with the community.